video we will talk about SAP support functions this is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com so this is what usually happens during and after the project an implementation project is conducted by consultants in a small scale project external consultants could be hired on an individual basis otherwise a project could be conducted by a consulting firm which could hire contractors or could use their employees for the project. The project will go live at a certain point and this is a point where modules that were being implemented goes in production. Usually warranty is offered by the implementation team and in this warranty period any issues that come up is handled by the project team. When the warranty period is about to finish or during the warranty period consultants start leaving because they want to find new projects uh, they work on contract basis. If there is a big firm behind the implementation project then warranty will most likely be honored but sooner or later warranty period will expire and then the company for which the project was implemented has to take care of the support issues and that is what we are going to talk about. So this is the sequence implementation project begins and when the system goes live warranty period begins and once the warranty period is over support has to be taken care and this is usually taken care by the company for which the project is implemented and there is no end to this period as long as you have the ERP product you have to provide support. This is in general true for almost any ERP but we will specifically talk about SAP. So you can divide SAP support functions into four groups business process support, SAP functional support, SAP ABAP and interface support you can call it SAP technical support and then SAP basis or technology support. Before we move forward, let's take a look at the big picture so that we can relate where these support functions fit into the big picture. So this is a company that is running SAP system. Of course, SAP system is running on top of specialized machines. So we have an hardware on top of hardware layer. We have an operating system layer like Linux, Unix, etc. On top of operating system, we have SAP software running. SAP software has to talk to a database to store data and to retrieve data and this could be any database including Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, now we have SAP HANA in the picture. This database is also running on top of an operating system so there could be multiple machines taking part in this whole picture but this is a simplified diagram. So we have SAP software up and running talking to the database. We have users using SAP system and these users could be in different departments. This is an enterprise level software so obviously more than one user is using the system. These could be in hundreds as well. What are users doing on the SAP system? Business processes are taking place in the company and as a result of certain events taking place in the company users are interacting with the system. For example user receives an invoice and he is now man manually entering this invoice in the system. Some shipment has arrived into the receiving dock and the person receiving the shipment is entering data into the system. Checks are printing out of the system and they are going to be billed to the suppliers for example. So activities are happening in the company as a result of which users are interacting with the system. So keep in mind there is a layer on top of the ERP system as well and that is called business process layer. Companies have different business processes. Even two companies could be in the same vertical or industry and they may differ in business processes. You can imagine business processes as series of tasks that will be taking place in a company. Not all the tasks will touch ERP system some of the tasks will be happening outside ERP system and ERP system will be in the picture for some of these tasks okay so business processes is a layer on 
top of ERP system. So it is above and beyond the ERP system. However, ERP system is there to assist in business processes. During the ERP implementation, business processes are sometimes re-engineered to make them more in line with industry best practices and the process is called business processes re-engineering. Keeping this big picture in mind, we are going to revisit the four groups of support functions that we just talked about and we will see how these four groups touch different areas in the big picture. So keep in mind business processes are sequence of tasks that are taking place in departments of a company. In an ideal world, it is all documented which task will take place next and which user is doing what in, in which situation. But this is not an ideal world and assistance is required every now and then in business process area. Business process support team is responsible for providing assistance in this area and staff in this team knows ins and outs of the company. Best role is played by internal staff so you will rarely see external consultants in this capacity. You can see in the big picture business processes is the area above the ERP system and it may entail tasks that are not touched by the ERP system. So business process support team will provide support for this area. Next we will talk about SAP functional support. SAP functional support team will provide assistance in how to use the SAP software. There might be new situations that may call for assistance in how to use the software. For example, you have always been entering invoices, everything working fine, now suddenly you want to enter a prepayment and nobody knows how to enter a prepayment. So the functional support team not only train users in how to use ERP system, they may also reconfigure the system every now and then so that it could handle new scenarios that are faced by the company. So what is the skill set required by the functional support team? Number one, they should be knowledgeable in the ERP software itself, how to configure it, how to use it, how to troubleshoot it, etc. Not only that, but they should also have some knowledge of the business processes. Keep in mind that ERP system is catering the business processes. If the business processes changes, ERP system has to be reconfigured to handle the new processes. For example, if company decides, okay, from now on, we will be also issuing electronic payments along with the manual checks. Now, ERP system has to be reconfigured to handle this new scenario. So what is the skill set required by the business process support team? They should possess very strong knowledge of business procedures and some knowledge of ERP system. And functional support team should possess very strong knowledge of the ERP system and reasonable knowledge of business procedures. Then we have SAP technical support. You can call it SAP ABAP and interfaces support. ABAP is a programming language in SAP. You will be using ABAP to program or customize SAP if it doesn't fit your needs completely and interfaces are pieces that are used to let communication flow between SAP and external software. So in simple words this is SAP technical support. So let's take a look at how technical support fits into the big picture. So during the SAP implementation the team that is configuring the system tries to gather business requirements and team attempts to configure the ERP system such that it meets the business requirements. What does that mean? That means the company is doing business in a certain way and SAP system that is being implemented should be able to handle the business procedures the way they want to run business. Obviously business procedures are re-engineered to an extent but SAP system has to cater to the way company does business not the other way around. At the end of the day, there are always gaps left. Not this is true with SAP, but with any ERP software, it is not able to handle everything that company does. And these gaps are usually filled by modifying the software or by writing extensions. 
So the technical consultants or programmers, they go under the hood and they modify the software. Either they modify the software or they extend the software, meaning they write additional components like reports or forms or programs to meet those needs that were not taken care of before. So activities taking place in that customization or extension area are called development. So configuration is a term which is used for setting up the system without going under the hood. Setting up the system using the setup screen so that system starts working for the business requirement. System is very flexible and you can control the flexibility through the setup screens. You set up the system this way, it starts working this way. You set up the system that way and it starts working that way. So all the configuration that you are doing through the setup screens is without programming and you need functional consultants to do that and they're experts in the configuration area. As soon as you go under the hood and you are touching programming language like ABAP and pieces like interfaces etc then you are entering into this development world and then you are a technical consultant or SAP programmer